Hi hello and welcome students in today's video we will be solving a question on probability the question says two numbers are chosen at random from the set 1 2 3 up to 20 find the probability that their hcf is 1 now let's go to the solution choosing two numbers from a set of 20 numbers uh, which are unordered pairs that can be any uh, any pair so we have the total outcome as 20 c2 which is equal to 190 and now let's find the pairs of two numbers whose HEF is 1. It means that uh, the two numbers are co-prime. For that we can use either Euler's function that is generally used for large sets. And uh, therefore let's uh, use uh, logical inclusion and exclusion for this uh, smaller set of 20 numbers. Now let's first identify the prime numbers which are equal to or less than 20. They are 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17 and 19. Now let's find out the multiple of each prime number where the multiple is less than or equal to 20 so that they fail the co-prime test. So what does it mean? We are going to find out the pairs which are not co-prime. So now how to calculate the non-co-prime uh, pairs? So let's first take uh, the first prime factor 2 and we will find out the multiple of 2 which are uh, less than or equal to 20. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. So there are total of 10 numbers. So in 10 C2 ways we can get the number of pairs which are multiples of 2 and which are non, uh, which are not co-prime. So we get 43 such numbers. Similarly, for the prime factor 3, we get uh, 15, sorry, 45 such pairs. And for uh, prime factor 3, we have 15 such pairs. And for 5 uh, prime factor uh, number 5, we have uh, 6 such pairs. And uh, for uh, prime factor 7, we have 1 such pairs. Therefore, we have 45 plus 15 plus uh, 6 plus 1, we have uh, around 67 pairs. For 11, 13, 17 and 19, uh, the, even the very first multiple will be more than 20. Therefore, we are not going to include them in the fail test because they cannot make any pair. They will be standalone. So we are not going to uh, include them in the fail list. Therefore, we have the total fail list of 7. But however, we have to be cautious in uh, excluding the overlapping and uh, non-co-prime pairs. For example, 2 and 3, you know, they will share a multiple of 6. So we have to see the multiple of 6 within which are within this given set, which are less than or equal to 20. We have 6, 12 and 18. So three numbers, they can make 3 C2, which is equal to 3 pairs. Similarly, uh, pair sharing multiple of 2 and 5, that is equal to 10. So we have two number, two multiples, 10 and 20. Therefore, 2 C2, one pair can be made. So there are four overlapping pairs. So let us subtract the four overlapping pairs from uh, 67 pairs. We get a total of uh, 63 pairs that failed the co-prime pair or they are not co-prime. So therefore, the possible co-prime pairs or whose HCF is 1 is 190 that is total outcome minus 63 which failed the test which is equal to 127. Therefore, the required probability is 127 by 190 and thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned.